I am back today with another video and this video is going to be a first impressions video on these cute adorable um, unicorn brushes and I will get them out in just a minute. Here these gorgeous babies are. There is Ten of them and I purchased these on um, eBay I believe it was I will link the description in the description box down below if you are interested so anyways um, what drew me to these is on my Instagram feed um, Instagram is going to cause me to become bankrupt because every time I scroll through <laughs> Instagram there's always something on there that I find that is extremely cute and I'm like I have to have this even though I don't but anyways these were only eight dollars plus I think like three dollars shipping or something so my grand total was eleven dollars and they didn't send me anything to tell me like what these brushes like what this brush is for or whatever um so i'm just gonna kind of be like i think this is what this is um obviously i think this is more of like a blending brush this could be a foundation brush i'm not too sure um and i really like the tips of these because the tips of these are like green and purple this could be a blending brush for eyeshadows. Um, just a pointed square brush, which you could use for like, if you want to define something in a crease or something like that. Um, catch you bitch type of shit. Um, this looks more like a bronzing brush. Obviously, this is a fan brush, and actually, this brush is what drew me to ordering this package is because I've been needing a fan brush for life, and every time I've went to Walmart, Target, I could never just find a single fan brush. It was either in a pack with a bunch of brushes I've already had, and I was in the market for unicorn brushes anyway, so as soon as I saw saw this, this is pretty much what sold me to purchasing this. This looks like it could be another smaller blending brush. And this again could be a powder brush, whatever you want to use it for. And these two just look like regular possibly eyeshadow brushes or anything that you want to use them for. Um, I pretty much use my makeup brushes for whatever I just want to use. Like if I want to take this makeup brush, I'll just take it and like if I want to add something to underneath of my cat eye or anything to that nature. The next question is probably going to be is how sturdy are these brushes? <clears throat> Excuse me. One thing I do notice with the bigger brushes like the powder brushes or to that nature um they are definitely a lot thicker than like this fan brush which is extremely thin as you can tell and it seems like to me that this could break a lot more easier than this brush handle um so that is that um but what i want to do with this um, video is to make sure because I was reading reviews when I purchased these as a lot of people were complaining that the brushes were not picking up the product very well <clears throat> and that's why I'm here doing this video because I want to personally see if it picks up product all I'm going to add to my face today because I am staying at home and I'm painting my bathroom so there's no need to get super glamified up or anything to that nature. I'm just going to apply some face powder because I already have my foundation and my eyebrows, a highlighter, a bronzer, 
and a lipstick and a hint of eyeshadow with no mascara so stay tuned so the first thing I'm going to do is apply my powder to my face because I have not done that and I'm just going to use this big fluffy brush Now it is picking up product. I don't know if you can tell because my camera is shitty and the lighting is horrible because it is raining outside. Every time I want to film a video, it seems like it's fucking raining outside. So I can tell that it is picking up product because I can feel the powder on my face. Now I do notice I have to kind of do this to get powder and it seems to be blending it well. I mean it's just powder right now. We'll be able to see with the bronzer. Um, the brushes feel really soft and like it just feels like I'm running like silk across my face. That's how soft it is. Alright. So in my personal opinion, you probably can't tell, but I just blended my powder and it actually looks really good of how I applied it. And just FYI, this video is not sponsored from these brushes. I paid and bought these with my own personal money that I work very hard for. So that is that. So I am happy with this powder brush. The next thing I'm going to go in with is... Where is that? Their makeshift look of a bronzer blush brush hi if I could talk now the actual bronzing brush that I use on a daily is the one from elf cosmetics and it applies really well so this is applying my bronzer but it doesn't look like it's picking up my bronzer very well. We will see. Can you see the bronzer? I can see it right here. Yes, it needs to be blended. Let's see what it looks like on my brush. You can tell that it is sort of picking up the product. Not very well though. Alright, I don't want to go too ghetto because, like I said, I'm going to be repainting my room. So there's no need for me to be looking like I'm getting ready to walk on the red carpet. So I'm just taking the biggest um, brush that was sent to me and blending out my bronzer.
So it did blend out my bronzer quite well. You can still see like the shadowing of it, which is good because that's the whole point of bronzing. I just double check. I am such a stiff when it comes to my makeup. You can ask anybody who personally knows me. Now here's the big question is this highlight though. So I'm just going in with my Jeffree Star Peach Goddess. Let's see how well this fan brush picks up his product. Because like I said, this is the main reason of why I bought this whole entire set. I am not seeing this. Hang on. I don't know if you can see. Oh, you can. It is picking up the products, but very faint. And I've had to go over this several times just to get that. But now I actually really like the highlight because before I didn't have a fan brush and I was actually making my highlight really thick and it was just looking really weird. So I like that. So that is that. Like I said, with this brush, um, as you do have to go, I mean, it does pick up the product as you can tell. But I've had to go over it several times just to get the product to show, which is, I don't care. I am a cheap bitch. I will tell you that all day and all night that I am a cheap bitch when it comes to certain things like this. There is no point in spending like ridiculously large amounts of money. If you want to do it, hey, that is you. That is not me. Me, I'd rather spend my money on my hair, my ink, my purse, and stuff like that. Not anything like this. Because it all can be put on the same way. So, I'm going in. Now, some things are a lot better than the others, but hey, whatever. I don't really care. Like I said, I am not a very picky person at all. So, I'm just going in. I'm going to give myself a little bit of eyeshadow today with no um mascara like I said because I'm not going anywhere all right it picks it up yeah it picks it up so I'm actually really happy with this purchase for only eleven dollars. Yes. So as you can tell, I have my eyeshadow on. That's pretty much all I'm doing today, just to give myself a look, and then I'm going to apply some lipstick. I just went in with Jeffree Star's um, Ammunition, I think is what it's called, Celebrity Skin. Yeah. So, that is that. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually quite impressed with these brushes. I was a little skeptical when um, I was reading the reviews and people were like, they don't work, they don't pick up the product very well. Yes, they don't pick up the product very well, but what do you really expect for $8? I mean, come on. But if you're somebody like me who's on a budget, or you just don't care how much money you spend on makeup brushes or certain items, then I would recommend these brushes. Plus, you could do something cute like this. 
So if you're somebody who is like still on a budget, what I did was I made my own personal vase specifically for these brushes just so I can display them because they're cute and that's the whole point of what I really wanted to do with them is to buy them and put them in a separate thing so I could display them. That's another thing that you can do if you don't think that these are good quality brushes and you're not satisfied or happy with them for $11, all you have to do is just go to a Dollar Tree. You can go to Dollar Tree and $2 for the vase and a whole pack of these little things. And you can just stick your makeup brushes in here and display them. That's pretty much all that I'm going to be doing. Just so people, like if they come over, they can look at my brushes and they can specifically, these ones will stand out just because they're unicorn brushes. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will have the link down in the description box if you are interested with for these brushes. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big huge thumbs up. And I'll see you soon in my next video. See you guys.